Hello. In this video lesson, I am going to demonstrate how to document data flow lineage between various source systems and a target data warehouse system. Here we have a target data warehouse system model with one fact table, that's revenue, and four dimension tables, product, customer, date, and geographic. In order to document the data flow lineage between source systems and target systems, we need to create data movement sources objects. You can see two data movement sources here. This is a this is not a useful one. I will delete that. We do have two data movement sources here, customers and orders. In C Erwin Data Modeler, a data movement source object represents a collection of tables and additional information about the data source. Here we do have all the additional information about the data source, source system name, host, database type, then a collection of tables you can see here. Each data movement source object represents a collection of tables. Orders data movement source has got this collection of tables and customers has got another collection of tables. We can select a particular table on to go to the table editor to see all the columns and corresponding data type and definition. In order to create a new data movement source, let's say if I have to define a new source, I should click on here and then I can create the collection of tables manually by using this interface click here click here and select a table and add additional columns this is one method and we can also create data source tables by providing a CSV file input you can see it here I can import from a CSV file and there is another way by clicking on the import here we can import the source tables from another data model file or by reverse engineer from a database or script file or by opening a model from mod repository once we have defined the set of source tables and additional information about the data movement source we can go back to the target data warehouse system model and define the mapping at a column level let's say if I want to define a column level mapping or document a data flow lineage at a column level you go to the corresponding column here so I will go to the fact underscore count select the column and go to the properties and go to the last page here here we have data source if we go to the data source page we can find this data source selector interface where all the data sources corresponding tables and columns are listed we can select specific data source columns here the fact underscore count is an information coming from this particular column quantity column in order details and the source and if we want to define additional sources we can go to this interface and provide that let's look at fact underscore amount here we have two source columns quantity and unit price and we can see the table and the source here and in addition to that columns we can also see a transformation expression quantity multiplied by unit price so here we can add the transformation expression or comment or anything which can help us to document the data movement from these two source columns to this target column once we have all these column level data mapping between the source systems and the target systems documented we can produce an ETL specification from this model 
with the help of report designer let me go to report designer in report designer we need to create a report design a physical type report should be good and here we need to select table and under table we need to select uh, let me select table name or table physical name then under column I will select uh, column physical name then if I want to select additional information for example uh, if I want to select ESPK, ESFK and the nullability of the column I can select all them here and then under the column we will find that a movement column option expand this option go to properties and select name of the this, this is representing the data source column and select the name and corresponding table and then additional information about the source system so we have all the source system information what we need we can select here if we select uh, all these details it will give us a report you can see you can click on that and execute that and here we will get the current tables and columns in this target design and then for each column we can get additional information and then the source that a source column this is the source column of from this particular table and this particular system and this way we can produce a mapping report I do have a ready to use report let me open that one I'll close it no open the new data mapping yeah we have this ETL specification that selects exactly the same thing with some additional properties and I have fine-tuned the title for the columns as well so if I s select this ETL specification I can find table this is again table name column column name data type is FK and other options under column we have data movement column option source column source data type and other options that we have selected now if I select ETL specification report and run the report it provides me a specification this can be used as a documentation for ETL mapping I can also select these and export to a CSV you see I'll, I'll get a CSV report here I can uh, use this uh, CSV file as a specification for my ETL report see if I want to mark the transformation comments with a separate color I can use spreadsheet and create this so we have all the tables dimension tables and fact tables this is the fact table and all others are dimension tables all the columns data type and additional information about it then source columns here we have source column say if we take a particular fact amount we'll, we'll find for fact amount we have two source column quantity and unit price you can find the transformation logic here and additional source information here and this can be used as a specification to design a data warehouse with uh, multiple sources and targets now another way to utilize this uh, mapping is if we have this report designed I have designed one more report here you can see a subject area based report here we, we here I have subject area entity relationship diagram I have selected all these options right under the ER diagram so I need to select subject area ER diagram and then select all the ETL mapping options under that table then if I produce an HTML report from this set of options let me produce an HTML report I can have a report that includes diagrams in diagram what I can do here is I can look at the fact tables and dimension tables 
and I have intentionally marked some colors on attributes here you can see those columns uh, which uh, which has a data flow from customer registration system I have changed their color to yellow and uh, those attributes or columns where data is uh, moved or taken from order processing system I have provided appropriate reddish color for that so I can quickly visualize the source systems for each column by looking at this report or even by looking at the model and if I want to drill down additional information and look at the transformation logic and additional data types of the source I can click on those objects let's say I click on customer here it will bring up all the drill down information where I can navigate and uh, see the the data sources let's say if I want to know customer name is a column in my target data warehouse from which source the information is taken to this particular column customer name I can go to the customer name here you can see that customer name and then here is the transform definition customer name is the combination of last name and first name and the data source is customer name field which is in the customer table in the source system the source system is customer registration system so you can see from the customer registration system there is a table called customer and it has got a column called customer name and the information is taken from this column to this target system so we can navigate through other tables let's say if I click on revenue it will show me all the columns in the revenue I can look at the tabular I can I can do a drill down to a particular information or I can even look at the hierarchical for each of them and this will give a very clear picture on how to navigate and understand the relationship data flow relationship between various source systems and the target data warehouse system coming back that concludes my presentation what we have learned in this video lesson is what is how to document the mapping between a source system and a target data warehouse system and how to produce a an ETL specification in CSV format which documents the target tables columns and source system columns and tables and transformation comments and we also have looked at how to produce an HTML report where we can navigate through all the tables and columns and understand the interrelationship between the systems thank you